Hi, it's Sam Hinkie here, the general manager for the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, I know you guys may not like me in real life, but in a video game, I gots to be your favorite GM. Now, I have a few changes that I want to make to the roster, and since I'm GM, I get to do whatever I want. So guess what, guys? It's time to grab Michael Carter Williams. Yes, it's time for me to get the guy who I've always wanted. Let's go. The Lakers are looking to rebuild after Kobe Bryant is gone, so they've reached out to the Philadelphia 76ers for Ben McLemore. Now, in order to get Ben McLemore, they had to get a couple people off the books, so they sent over Antoine Jameson and Chris Duhon. Now, what the Lakers don't know is that the 76ers were looking to grab Michael Carter Williams, but to grab him, they had to give up more players because Antoine Jameson's contract was very hefty. So, they gave up Arnett Maltry, Patrick Beverly and Lavoy Allen on the back end of that trade. Now, in my eyes, that trade doesn't make any sense, but hey, Sam Hinkie is the GM. He has all the control. All I can say is, I wonder what Michael Carter Williams has to say about this trade. Uh. Huh? All in all, the Sixers do think that they've come out on top with this trade. In order to give up someone that they've been thinking about giving up for a while now, Patrick Beverly has been shipped to the Los Angeles Lakers. He's been very vocal about not wanting to play for the team. He's been saying Drew Holiday gets way too many minutes. He doesn't get any shine. So now that he's on the Lakers, what is in store for Michael Carter Williams? Will he also be a bench warming point guard behind Drew Holiday, the superstar? Or will he actually get some minutes and play a couple games? Let's ask Patrick Beverly. Shit. He ain't gonna get no minutes. <laughs> well, the 76ers decided to hold a press conference for Michael Carter Williams and get his thoughts on what he's gonna do in Philadelphia. Is he gonna step up to the plate? Is he gonna be able to play behind Drew Holiday? Will he be a factor for this team? I have found that ACL and MCL injuries are very common in the NBA nowadays. So, Drew Holiday, good luck to you. Break a leg. <laughs> Yo, what's going on everybody, it's Pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. Today we're going up against the New York Knicks, yes, Knicks tape. It's going to get kind of ugly in this arena. Now, we're closing in on All-Star Weekend, yes, yes, yes we are. Um, I've actually simulated a few games, so this is actually the first official game that I'm playing with Michael Carter-Williams as Michael Carter-Williams. So, uh, in this game, the Knicks are going to turn up, we going to turn up. Ain't nobody going to turn down, but it's going to be a great game. Now, uh, as it goes for All-Star Weekend, I'm not sure who on my team is going to go to All-Star um, to the actual game. But I know a few guys are probably going to be in the dunk contest and three-point contest. I'm hoping that Drew does make it to the All-Star game for the second consecutive time. But uh, let's talk about my team and, you know, my plans for this association. Now, uh, you guys saw that... Uh, blockbuster trade i call it it's kind of lackluster but you know it is what it is but for you guys crucify me for giving up ben mclemore because i know you guys are going to do it in the comment section i've decided to you know build my team around a pair of every position now you guys might be thinking what is he talking about a pair basically in every position that i have on this floor i have two actually good players at each position you guys may not think that they're good but i believe that they're good now going over the point guard position i have drew holiday enough say great guy great guy great player easy to play with on 2k um I, now i have michael carter williams now before i had michael carter williams i had patrick beverly and you know a few other people but they really didn't you know stand up to my standards now the thing about michael carter williams is he's six five which means when he's going into the rack against these smaller guys He's probably going to have his way. It's, it's going to be very easy. He's athletic and he's tall. So putting those two together on 2K, going up against a smaller guy, you're going to win just about every time. Now, as it goes for shooting guards, now let me explain the Ben McLemore thing. The reason I gave him up is because 
I have Jason Richardson and J.R. Smith. Now, the thing about J.R. Smith is pure score. I can score whenever I want. It's easy money. Now, Jason Richardson, when he comes in the game, he's a pure shooter. So if I need to come back and I bring in a guy that has been on the bench for a while, he can heat up very fast. He, he doesn't get tired, you know, because he's been sitting out. So that's my two pair of the shooting guard position. And to tell you the truth, both of those guy, guys on 2K can't easily average 30 points easily now as it goes for the small forward position this is where it gets a little tricky now I have Reggie Bullock starting small forward now I did have Jason Richardson starting at small forward a few times but I decided to go with Reggie Bullock because he's more athletic and he can get to the rack just about any time that he wants and he can shoot the pill i don't know why but whoever made Reg reggie bullock made him a beast i'm just saying so he's great and then i have darrell wright coming in off the bench at small forward so think about it like this when reggie bullock sits down the scoring doesn't stop when i bring in darrell wright i can really have him as a spot-up shooter i can clear the floor space the floor call isolation drive to the rack and i promise you if Darrell Wright's defender slides over at all, he's going to nail the three, just like he did right there. So, I'm telling you right now, at the small forward position, I'm good. Now, at the power forward position, I gave up Lavoy Allen and Arnett Maltree. Arnett Maltree was a very athletic power forward, and I liked him. Now, Lavoy Allen, he was kind of slow, had the jump shot game, but he was pretty good himself. But... In that trade, I got Antoine Jameson, which means when Thaddeus Young isn't running circles around their defenders, I have my boy Antoine Jameson to come in the game, space the floor, sit in the corner, wait for the pass, and shoot the pill. Now, he also has an okay inside game. Now, he doesn't have the banging with the big men game, but he does have that face up, shooting over top, backing you down, giving you a couple moves. He does put points on the board so I like using him as well now uh, at the center position whoo uh, this is crazy I got Noel now the thing about Noel is he's a great defender he's gonna be in your mitt all night long his awareness really isn't there yet but it's getting better he can dunk over just about anybody I think he has posterizer built in his DNA that's how crazy of a dunker he is now when it comes to shooting Noel really isn't that good but I do have Spencer Halls coming off the bench. So those mid-range jump shots, I will be able to hit when Spencer Halls comes in the game. So when the defender is sticking Noel all game long and they're banging in the paint getting dunked on, and then they come in and get their eye shot out by Spencer Halls, it gets crazy for them. So as soon as I get down everybody's shot in this game, we are going to be unstoppable. I'm just saying that right here, right now. Now, this is the last play of the half. I just had to show you guys Drew Holiday nailing that shot. That's what I'm saying to y'all right here. But uh, check out this play right here, man. Look, look at how we all just come and just collapse in the paint. That's great defense by everyone. Now, me personally, I like our defense. I like the way we're doing things. But in this game, we're not doing so good. So let's hop into halftime. Let's look at the stats. Let's see what's going on in this game. Because obviously I haven't talked about any of the gameplay. But um check out the cheerleaders. Oof. <laughs> but uh during this halftime report, let's see who's doing great so far. Alright, Carmelo has 19, 5, and 3 assists. Drew Holiday has 10 points and only 2 assists. But Iman Shumpert is definitely stepping up for the Knicks. Now, this is the thing. It's hard to play the Knicks. You want to know why? Every time Carmelo gets in the paint, they double team. And guess who's left open? Felton, Emont, and any other shooter out there on the court. Now, Stoudemire, he can be considered a three-point shooter on this game as well. So, it's very hard for us to get on defenders and be able to lock in on who we need to guard and at what times. But we're not slouching either. We're, uh, we're actually shooting a good percentage from the floor. It's just our turnovers are a definite problem. And it's very hard to guard people. But check out D-Rose averaging almost 29 a game. And look at that dude, Andrew Bynum, playing for the Pistons. What's up with him? He's almost averaging 20 and 10. But, you know, it is what it is. We don't need him. We don't need him. I got Noel, sucker. <laughs> But uh, around the NBA, they got other games going on. I wish that, you know, that Hornet symbol could be a Pelican and it could say Pelicans. But maybe next year, right? NBA 2K14 is like, 
right down the road. You know, I might take a bus to go catch it. <laughs> but let's get back into the game. Now, now that the second half has started, I've decided to turn up a little bit. My whole thing about playing 2K on Hall of Fame is when you're playing 5-on-5 five five games, you're not going to be able to win. You're not going to be able to come back without hitting three-point shots. Now, I know it seems crazy because New York has 74. <laughs> and a lot of people are always like, iPod, why don't you play on lower minutes? Why don't you play on a lower difficulty? Because it really doesn't matter to me. I've been playing 2K for so many years that the difficulty doesn't matter. The time frame doesn't matter. When I play a game, I want it to be on 12 minutes. I want to be able to get the feel of playing full 12-minute quarter so all the rotation of my substitutions and everything goes through the right way. Don't you hate when you're playing on five minute quarters and your dude is tired after two minutes? How how fun is that? That's not fun at all. I'd rather be in a game for about six to seven minutes without getting substituted. And then instead of being in a game for two and a half minutes and being subbed out in the first quarter, that's no fun to me. So you know me, I'm a score, score, score. So we're down 30 right now. Yeah, it's looking pretty ugly. But Drew Holiday is gonna step up, you know what I'm saying, go chest to chest. I don't even know why that wasn't a foul. That should have been nothing but contact. You know, their coach ended up calling a timeout. That's cool and all, but that was all chest to chest. I don't understand it. But the Knicks, they're not done, you know. They're, they they just can score. I don't know what it is. And then them having Brewer, it just makes everything worse. But guess who I got? Antoine Jameson. I told you guys, he's going to be a factor when it comes to shooting three-pointers. Now, yes, I'm 9 for 21. It's the, it's the third quarter. I've shot 21 threes. But that's only because I'm trying to come back. That's the only way I can try to come back. So, Reggie Bullock, he's about to catch this nice old screen real quick. Spin off him. Shoot the three. You know it's cash. I'm just saying, you know it's cash. <laughs> But uh, we went on a 15-6 run. The 15-6 run, it seems like it really didn't do much because they were still up by so much. But Nerlens Noel definitely was stepping it up. And Michael Carter-Williams, I'm so scared to shoot a jumper with this dude. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. But uh, I'm checking Thad on a nice cut. And that should have been another foul. We should have went to the line one more time. Just check out. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I Sometimes when I'm recording, I just be in the zone and I just feel like they slap the wrist all night on all of our dunks, our layups, contested shots. They were fouling us all night. But how did this layup go in? How is that even possible? Like, yo, I promise you, Carmelo Anthony in this game is unreal. Now, it's about four and a half minutes left. It's no way we're coming back. No, this is not going to be a video where I score 20 points in 30 seconds. This will not happen. And with them hitting threes like that, you know we're not coming back. All I can say is, I don't want us to lose by 20. The, you know what I'm saying? If I can get to 18, maybe I'll feel better about myself. But with making turnovers like that, I don't think anything is going to change. It's that simple. But uh, right now, we're down 25, you know. But check this out, 142. Now, one thing I do want to say about the score of this game, has anyone noticed that all, mostly all of my association videos have been in the 140s for scoring? Like, have you noticed that? You guys can tell right here, right now, that this is Hall of Fame and that there's nothing that I can do to stop this team right here, right now. I'm just saying, you know, it's not much I can do. But all I can do is pray that the double team works. Pray that we can step it up and only win, I mean, only lose by 20. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to get to 18, but it's not looking like that so far. I'm calling as many double teams as I can. But check out this play right here, man. Outside the double team, he nails a three. My face was like, what the? Like, when I was playing this game, I wanted to kill somebody. I wanted to break my controller. Like, that's how bad it got. But I did nail the shot with Antoine Jameson. So now we're down 20. So it looks like this game is over. The computer never usually uh, goes for the shot at the end of the game. So it's all good. We lose by 20. I ain't tripping, man. You know, I got plenty more games to go. Um, one thing I will say, I, I ain't going to blame it on this. But we've been practicing hard every day all week. So, you know, I've been putting guys on uh, hard shooting drills hard defensive drill so you know we may be a little fatigued i don't know we might be a little fatigued <laughs>
But I ain't gonna put no more blame on that. I will show you guys Carmelo Anthony's player of the game. Let's get into it. All right, you guys, let me show you some in the game stats. Drew Holiday had 27 points. J.R. Smith had 25. Bullock had 19. Young had 12. But let's talk about Michael Carter Williams. Now, this is the funny thing. He had 8-2-4, but he only had one turnover. So, on this game, he isn't turnover prone. Now, let's look at his cyber face. Now, we all know this isn't going to be, you know, something 2K made up. This was something that somebody created. And I think that this is pretty close, you know, for a person that just created a guy without actually being able to have the tools that 2K does to make a cyber face. Pretty good. But uh, he only did take one three-pointer and nailed it. But he was only he was three for nine. So, you know, maybe next time I'll get his shot right. Maybe, you know, when I'm driving to the lane, use a couple more up and unders, you know, to get the guy hot. So uh, let's check out what's going on around the NBA. You know, I just want to show you guys a few quick things. So let's load this up. All right. The, oh, player resigning deadline has uh, commenced. So um, I'm guessing a couple of teams probably resign a few new players. But uh, the one big news that I do see on the screen is the Timberwolves. Budinger is out two to four weeks. Don't know what that's from. The Lakers in a 14. Wow. Like, really? How, like what how, how do you lose 14 games straight i don't know but uh i heard that damian lillard did get snubbed for the all-star weekend so you know it is what it is but this is ikc signing out i'm gonna holla at y'all in the next one peace year this is siri thank you for watching and be sure to like this video for more videos from this particular mode click more videos if you want to see more content from ikc click subscribe Oh and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.